Hello, Monster Bound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3. That's six. This crack campaign where we are dealing with Morgur because he declared war on me for some reason, not 100% sure why. Uh, so we're going to torch his little herdstone. The only one he ever has, really. They never seem to really do very much, do they, the Beastmen? Poor lads. I guess it's very true to the law. In the law, they do tend to just be the foil for other other races, don't they? Poor beast men. I I love them so, and yet, and yet, they are they are kind of shit in the law. Um, we do have gorges over here. Uh, a saber tusks have already gone out of control because they had low health. I I know what they were trying to do with the out of control thing. But I don't think it works necessarily very well. And I think that's because the rampage isn't based on the their current percentage of health. It's based on their total. So if a unit rampages at 50%, if, if they start the battle at 49%, they'll rampage immediately rather than when they hit like 25% hit points. So I think that's what they needed to do. It needs to be based on the percentage of hit points. And maybe it needs to flag that up. But I suspect maybe it's like a... I got the sneaky suspicion it's maybe like an engine limitation. A lot of this stuff. I hope they really do do a new engine because it desperately needs it. As uh, so the Gord attacking on the right flank. We've got Scrag down the centre there. However, we do have quite a large concentration of Ungor currently sat blocking these Ogre Balls. If only we could do something about that. Like, I don't know. Make it time for Jam O'Clock? Yeah, why not? Jesus Christ. <laughs> so many fucking dead Ungor. What the shit? Scrag comes out with 824 kills. <laughs> That's the only spell he's cast this battle. Absolute, absolutely bonkers. Uh... Great, great fucking spell. Amazing. Love it. Oof. So they're flooding... Flooding Gore and Ungore to try and slow our advance, but it's very much too little too late. We have exterminated a large percentage. They, they came out with 4,000 guys, and uh, they're, down, they're down to just under 2,000 now. They do have some Bestigals. The best... That's, that's why they're called Bestigals. It's because they're the best ones. Obviously, the best Igors. Uh, but even these guys, probably, probably not going to be able to save the day. A hey, boys, because you're about to get charged from every direction. Oof. So the number of beastmen dwindles rapidly. And we continue to smash our way through the last defense. Like they, they've, they've held like the Bestigals back in reserve. Like they've got the elites. The elites to try and slow us. Their last line of defense. But it ain't gonna be enough. what you get for declaring war on me, Morga. Well, Morga, I don't know why you declared war on me, but that doesn't really matter anymore, does it? It's not really that important. Because you're dead now. You're dead now, son. Uh, we could tell you what. Let's give this to Pickett, most traveled rat of Nothing oh. surprises me. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want Mon Montanius? Give me some money. I want this very much. I agree. Accept. Good. Good. We could always then go and beat up Corona a little bit, couldn't we? If we keep you up here. And we keep our camps together and actually recruit them some units. I know, far-fetched, but we could do it. I also want some giants. 
Because we do love our big boys. I do love me a big boy. The bigger the better. That's what I say. It's not what you do with it. It's the size that counts. Yeah, you're right. You've got all of that. Let's go. Let's go that way. Uh, you are going to be a beast slayer. Yeah, all right, let's move you up here. Basically, we just need you to kind of keep an eye on on this area. I want to make sure that we take out their main army. Are you? Oh my god, she's T-posing for dominance. Holy shit! She's off the fucking chain! So, found an old tyrant sleeping in the sun. Seems his tribe wandered off without him weeks ago. He's all skin and bones. And even so, he's started taking off his gut plate and demanding for a duel. Who's going to put him out of his misery and eat his shriveled guts? Uh, I'm going to send Gorg. Gorg can have him. Oh, I should have underweighed. Should have underweighed. What a classic error. I want to. Well, you've got your. So how? What, how expensive? So your units are only five. I mean, still, we're still spending like six hundred upkeep on protecting this camp, and it's not even that good a garrison. That's the problem. So we need to we need to keep that safe. So the, the, genuinely, the best place for camps is so far in your own territory that no one will ever find them because they're so they're so valuable. Um, no, no. It looks like Araby's actually doing quite well over there, so I might throw my lot in with them. Okay, that's actually not not my problem. Okay, this is so. What we're going to do is we're going to have a chat with you. We're going to say I'm going to join your war against Carcassonne, and you can pay me for that. You can you can give me some cash, and uh, then I think there's good eating, good eating into Barrow by the looks of it. Look at all those juicy peasants. Hmm. Nice to be able to help our friends. Ikit is a little, little ratty boy. I mean, there's not much meat on a rat. You have to eat quite a lot of them to, to feel full. So, I think eating Bretonian is probably better. More meat on them. Plus, of course, these guys are super fucking squishy. Holy shit. Stonehorn rampaging through the enemy army. Gorgeous coming in from the flanks, and then of course we've got the Sky Striders, who... What's that charge like? Is that any good? Uh, no, that was nowhere near as good as I thought it would be, unfortunately. That was rather, rather pitiful. Gorgeous coming in from behind, going to take out those missile units while our ogres are doing the business of just ripping their way through these very squishy poor people. Bams all desperately trying to reinforce their lines. Don't think that's going to work. And the nice thing about Peasant Mob is just how deliciously juicy they are. I really do hope the Ogres get a melee hero someday.
And look at him get mushed. Well, that's happening. Uh, Elf Muncher Bear Grills is trying to kill out, kill off Zachary Beaumont. And the Fae Enchantress is just running around casting her rather... I mean, she's, she's only got three spells. None of them are particularly good, so... She's level 15 as well. You think as a caster, focus on the, the spells a little bit? You get... I mean, to be honest, there's no spells that you've got that would be particularly good against ogres, mind you, so... It's the problem with magic. There's there's not many spells that really work again. It's, it's all in, infantry can be mushed. You can debuff, but damage spells don't really work on ogres because it's all based on the entities, and it doesn't scale up for if you've got less entities. A little bit extra replenishment, which is very handy. I'm going to have to kill those beastmen now. Don't worry about that in a minute. I'll tell you what, if you scooch a little bit closer, if you scooch that way, you scooch that way, you could actually recruit. You know what? I'm going to get rid of the catos. I like the catos, but. They're just kind of worse gorges, aren't they? So we'll get more gorges. And we will... I mean, I... The iron guts are... are better, aren't they? Okay, we'll build that one as well. You can get more growth. Alright, send them packing. We will... we'll do a little bit of recruitment, I think. Do I what? No. What is best eaters? Gorgeous? No. Where's the? Where, ah, there's the gorgeous. Charge and armor. Ugh, do I care about charge and armor? Not really. Scrappy fight. We're definitely not getting that. Tool of destruction. Maybe. Best eaters seem seems good. Like more melee attack and defense. I just don't think fifteen armor and fifteen charge bonus is just. I guess it would double their armor. Tyrant of the tribe. I guess. Time for a okay, you sit there because I suspect that Carcassonne will probably recruit an army here. Send it through the mountains. That's that's what I suspect. We need to get some uh, iron guys in Scrag's army, which we will do. I would like some man eaters though. Ideally, man eaters. Upkeep reduction. Lovely. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna come and plug the mountain. Oh, it's gonna take you so... I guess you can't go by sea. It's gonna take you so long to get over there. I don't think there's any point. Like, it will take you... <laughs> Three, four, five... It'll take you six turns. It'll take you six turns to get across the swamp. I could just poop out another another camp, but I don't think there's, there's no point doing one there because it's not safe. We do want to poop one out. Uh, it's just not safe right now. Regenerated all armies. Uh, I don't know. If we, if we, do we have any trade? Different relations or factions? I mean, that could be quite nice. Is there any... Hang on. Gore... Iron cap teeth. There we go. Armor and weapon strength for those guys. More weapon strength. Well, let's tell you what. Let's go with how much weapon strength is that then? So it's got another 15 and then another 20 on top of that. Holy shit. It grows. Holy shit. It's not bad, is it? I don't know. Who, who spotted me? Is it Durthu? Fucking stupid, sexy butterfly costume lady. Stop spotting me! Leave me alone! The f Fuck! 
There's times where I'm trying to spot armies and I can't spot them for nov nor fucking money. Uh, I'm kind of tempted just to like go for this and take on everyone at the same time. Because it'll be the garrison there, plus these guys, plus the... Fuck it, let's do it. Absolute balls to the wall action. Uh, probably don't want to... Scrounging. Oh, uh, what does that do? What is that going to do for us? I don't know. All right, let's just go with five. I think that's probably fine. Just have to, just have to kill any everyone, won't we? Easy. Okay, time to squish a lot of Bretonia. I, th I think, I think this is probably all their armies they're going to bring. Will, will their main army survive long enough for the reinforcements to show up? I I have my doubts, I'll be honest with you. So, so, I mean, this, this is why you shouldn't bring Peasant Mob, because they're terrible. <laughs> like... They're even worse than Zombles. Honestly, if, if you're relegated to recruiting Peasant Mob, then you've probably already lost. I know they're just a filler, but if, you're, if most of your army is Peasant Mob, you're, you're fucked. You may as well just, just auto-resolve it, because you're dead. As, as we can see, um, their army has instantly just disintegrated. Like a digestive biscuit left in a cup of tea too long. It's just dropped off. So, enemy reinforcements will be arriving shortly. Uh, in about 10 seconds, 11 seconds, and oh, 15, 14 seconds. We do have some units near, but oh look, some, some questing knights did manage to hold on briefly. They did no damage though. Well, they did do some damage, but we got regeneration, right? Do these guys regenerate? Maybe they don't. I thought they did regenerate. I just had a sneaky suspicion they did, but they do not. Anyway, the questing lights got wrecked in return, and here comes those reinforcements. They do have a lord with them. But they're gorgeous on the flat. And once again, it's it's quite a lot of peasant mob, and um, so peasant mob may as well just not be there. It's been a very jammy episode, hasn't it? Lots of jam. Fantastic stuff. As you can see, that group of reinforcements is basically fucked. Uh, there's, more re there's lots of reinforcements coming in this way, and some reinforcements coming in from here. They do have a lord. We're going to send Scrag and Bear Grills to go and jump up and down on him. Come here, you little bastard. Where are you going? It's making a run for it. Get him, Scrag. Scrag has 103 melee attack and 662 weapon strength. I like the fact you can see it's 43 is from Frenzy. Nice. Nice. I like that. I like being able to see where stuff comes from. More of that. More, more opacity? Is that the word? I, I want to see more stuff. Don't, don't make it transparent. Well, do make it transparent. Let me know where numbers come from. Why is th why is this? Look, fatigue, minus three. Perfect. Now I know. Boom. Done. I have that information. Don't make it red and then not tell me why. That's the worst. Right, we have a line of reinforcements just pouring into the battlefield. Uh, they are as good as dead. These reinforcements have been broken. Which means basically we just need to deal with these guys now. Fair Grills leading the charge. Mostly because once he charge, he don't stop. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How many kills? 105. These guys are so squishy. They're just, they're just so squishy. And then because their line was shattered by the Stonehorn charge. The cavalry block him briefly, but even then... Uh, how much anti-large have you got? You've got 15 bonus first large. 
So the knights immediately book it. The rich people realising that maybe this is a little bit too rich for their blood. And the poor people get trampled on, which is, to be honest, pretty true to life. Only a few units of Bretonians left. They have thrown four and a half thousand Bretonians at us. And we, we've lost like a handful of ogres. This has been very one-sided. This wasn't a battle. It was lunch. A banquet. Hmm. Um. I think I kind of need the meat. Meat, 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 meat. That's right. Holy shit! That was a, that was annihilation for the Bretonians. We lost five guys. They lost thousands. And when we take this city, which we just have, I'm going to knock you. Once we've done that. Ooh, my shadow horn of morn. Uh, they ain't replenishing. They ain't replenishing. They're gonna have to. Uh, they're gonna have to replenish somewhere else. I'm afraid. It's kind of. I'm, I'm gonna give this to to Ikit, and it's very. It's a very freeing feeling when you don't have to look after settlements. It's. It's like, oh shit, I can I can just do whatever I like. I don't have to sit here and defend this fucking pile of rubble. I can just do what I want any old time. What does crippling throw do? Is it good? Maybe. Find out, won't we? We'll find out. Right, little camp, little camp. Continue your meanderings. I'm tempted to poop out another camp. We could poop out another camp. We will, we will. We'll poop out to camp in Estalia. And then we'll have a little camp down here who's slowly, slowly making his way towards us. Uh, you can have unstoppable thoughts. No one else touch it. Touch, touch what? I'll keep reduction for a boys. So, <clears throat> we got 60%. We can get up to another third. So we can get 90% reduction. Which isn't bad. It isn't bad. These guys are only costing us 28. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I could get some giants. I just, I just think they're neat. Okay, we're keeping you there. We're, basically, my plan is we need to hold the line here. We're going to kill the Wood Elves, but first we need to clean out Carcassonne, and then we can we can pin some movement, the Wood Elves. Uh, but that does mean... It does mean that Gorg is just going to be sat there for a minute. With his thumb up his ass. No particular reason, he just likes it. It's just just how it's just one of his it's one of his coping mechanisms. God fucking damn it. Fucking I I I I, I, I don't know how Ambush spotting works. I don't think anyone does. I don't think even CA know how it works. Okay, we're going to meander over here and take Nuja. Nuja? I hardly knew her. I said I hardly knew... Doesn't matter. Okay, you can have... Yeah, whatever. Tabaro. Give me some cash. And is it Magritta? Uh, there you go. There's Magritta. Fine. To be honest, um, you might lose that, and then I can retake it and resell it back to you. <laughs> uh, let us do. Ooh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Melee attack. Yeah, melee attack. I always forget to do this. The melee attack's obviously the best one. Uh, how much food do you have? Okay, that's fine. We just need to poop out of camp. Kind of poop. Feeling bloated? Gotta poop. 
what's going on over here? So you've got wine. You are fine. We are taxing everywhere. No, we're not, well, that's, that's okay, because to be honest, it's not really... Holy shit, these are, they're actually making making bank here. What the hell? Like genuinely, genuinely making money. No, we're not going to build that. I guess I will build defenses and then... Wait, that's not defenses. Is it? Wait, what's this? Hang on, what? You've got a muck trench. You've got a guard. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Alright. I. Good. Okay. Well, whatever. I guess it's because it's the provincial capital, but I didn't think there was any difference. I guess I guess there is. I guess there is a difference. Who the fuck knew? No, no, no. Nope. Nope. None of that. None of that. Are you? Can I reach you? Oh, I can reach you. Hello, Fey Enchantress. I'm amazed they didn't lose any settlements. Okay. Boop. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? What was that? Uh, funny as shit was what that was. Uh, good. Yeah, whatever. Get Avnuja. Granted, I just gave you something. I've just expanded your empire significantly. Just so I don't have to fucking deal with it. Okay, I need to give you some giants. Let's move our camp up. I'll build that one. I'm not. No, I refuse. I refuse to interact with the contracts mechanic on principle. The principle of it being complete and utter fucking garbage. That's the principle. It doesn't even offer any decent magic items. It offers nothing. You know, you could at least, at least maybe. I don't know. Have you know the way Cathay? When they complete a trade, they get a special magic item, right? What? Why not do something like that with contracts? They only come round every ten turns. You know, you know what, Wurzag? What is your problem? You don't like those guys. You know what? You know what? Fine. Fine. You are strength rank five, so. I choose, I choose friendship. Boop, boop. Uh, I'm just going to ignore you because I don't care. The boss. Admin, cause I said so. Okay, let's let's poop. Oh, for fuck's sake! If I go over here, can I poop out of camp? Good. Right, we'll instantly upgrade ya. Bill oh, I didn't realise Bill Bailey was a capital. Oh yeah, that does make sense. I completely forget they they, they used to just have like three settlements here, and then they made it more and. It used to just be Torbaro, Magritta, and Bill Bailey, and then they added two more. Um, I'm assuming because one day they're going to put the Eastern Kingdoms in, but it still still, confu still confuses me. I don't know. I probably should do something. I probably should rejig your army a little bit, especially if you're going to be fighting Wood Elves, because those guys fucking suck. See what we could do. Can the camp move that far? We can. Hang on. We can get the camp to join in. 
Camp joining a siege. I was wondering, does it like that? Is it going to be sad? No, it's fine. It's fine. Hibbity hop out. We will build the money building, because that gives us more money. As we slowly cross the swamp. Very slowly cross the swamp. Going to, I'm going to get some some big cabby boys. Okay, well, no, you know what? I'm not going to repair this because what's the point? I'm just going to sell it to, to Ikit. Have Bill Bailey. It shaved off all his hair. It's like, what? You can't do that. You can't go around shaving your hair off. It's a, it's a fucking icon. It's an icon. Bill Bailey. Of the great Indeed. Um, okay, we will go Beasts of the Mountain. I'm not you, God, super into it, but there we go. Right, Ikit now has Estalia all to himself, thanks to me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to point fingers at who who maybe was instrumental in acquiring it for him. But if I was got well, I can't point fingers. Well, Scrag can't point fingers anyway, because obviously he doesn't doesn't have any. Um, but if he did, it would certainly potentially be pointing inwardly. You know? Huh. Well. Well. Kind of, kind of did see that coming. Do we have elves heading this way? No, weirdly, weirdly not. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna book it. Do we think they will come this way? Maybe. We could, we could. Um, tell you what, let's get rid of you, and we'll get you. I mean, I could... Right, here's what we... How, how much money do we have? Probably enough. There we go. So now we've got a couple of... Because those guys are quick. And they will be good at ripping... Ripping, annoying, little shooty, pointy-eared freaks... Into their component parts. Which is... My favourite way to see an elf. I.e. torn to pieces. Yes, I kept joint. No, I'm already at war with one fucking elf race, thanks to you. God, every single time. Every single bloody time. Okay, this is probably going to be quite cho quite a chonky garrison. Oh, it's not actually that chonky. Stand correct. They stand correct. You know, what? I'm going to sack that because I want the cash. On the cash. I'm also going to meander back. So we're in range of the camp. Let's get that lovely replenishment. Thank you. We go mentor as well. Oh, big name. What big name do we have? So we got all of them. Um, I don't think. I think. I think we. You know, we can only choose one at a time. So we've got Gore Harvester is fine. I like this one though because the diplomatic relations is super helpful, um, which is fine. Me game for battle. Don't really care about. Winter magic is fine. I, I, generally, I think that's. I think. We're, Probably got probably got the best one, and uh, I think this de definitely missile resistance for the entire army is is just so freaking freaking legit. What are your big names? So we get the missile resistance as well. Very nice. Capture the the Zhen Wu settlement. That's quite far away, isn't it? I. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I think that's quite far away. <laughs> I think that's a, that's the more one, isn't it? It's over here somewhere. 
I think it's like over here. So basically, no, I probably won't be doing that. But thank you for asking. <laughs> Fuck my life. Uh, you know what I need to do is uh, I need to recruit literally anyone. You. Any one of you. Speed is okay. Don't really care about that. That's not really that interesting. He's a big daddy. Or oh, flabby. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, tell you what, we'll get the farter because he's got extra camp. Vud the cheese. Yes, your job, if you, if your mission, if you choose to accept it, you don't really have a choice, is to come over here and and basically find out who owns that so I can go and make friends with them because I can't be bothered to travel all that way. It seems like a long... What the fuck? This is my land. Where's I go What are you doing? You're at war with the Deceivers and also Durthu for some reason. Absolute fucking insanity. Anyway, well, that'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.